acetan carbonate re reacted with supposed to be reacted with dilute hydrochloric acid according to the following equation and this is the equation one gram of this carbonate was dissolved in 50 grams of one more hydrochloric acid after the reaction the solution needed 30 centimeters cube of one molar sodium hydroxide for neutralization we will be given the density of hcl is one gram per centimeter cube the first question calculated the number of moles of sodium hydroxide that reacted but before we go there it is important that you understand what kind of the, the reaction is this now this hcl is reacting with the carbonate first and the remaining hcl is going to react with sodium hydroxide it means that this acid was in excess it is more therefore it will react with one gram of the carbonate after the reaction is over the remaining hcl is going to react with 30 centimeters of one molar sodium hydroxide it is important to understand that therefore calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide that reacted that one is directed from here we have been given that 30 centimeters cube of one mora sodium hydroxide reacted with the excess acid therefore how do we get we have been given the mora of sodium hydroxide it means that this is one mora it means that one mora means that one mole this is the moles because morality you understand what is morality morality is the number of moles in one liter so it means that this one is in in a thousand centimeters cube we will find out that centimeters cube will contain how many moles because that's what we want to calculate so that is 30 times one we divide by a thousand and that one will give us 0 0.03 moles so the number of moles that reacted with uh, the number of moles of sodium hydroxide that reacted with excess hcl is 0 0.03 it is very important to know that uh when you have morality i can give you another formula you can use there is a triangle here which says like this because uh, we have here right here morality the space is very small it means increase this space morality volume in liters this volume must be in liters moles so how do you you can use this formula and you will get the same answer how so we have we have the morality of sodium hydroxide which is one we have the volume it was it is 30 and then we want moles so how do you write this one down as moles moles equal to vo, uh, morality 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 let me use m times volume in liters the volume must be in liters a liter so it is in centimeters we convert to centimeters uh, to liters per thousand so it will be one times the volume which is 30 divided by a thousand uh, this one will give you 0 0.3 so you can as well use this triangle it is important uh, Part two, determine the number of moles, determine the number of moles of hydrochloric acid used in the reaction with the carbonate. Remember, the number of moles that reacted with the carbonate, we don't know that, but we can get that. First, we were given that one gram of the carbonate was dissolved in 50 grams of one more hydrochloric acid so first let us find the volume of the hydrochloric acid the total volume that was used where the x cabinet was placed to react we have been given we know that the density is equal to mass over volume <coughs> so we want the volume the density we have been given that is one so one equal to mass uh, which is um, All right, we have been given the density of the acid as one gram per centimeter cube. It means that one gram 
of the acid is in one centimeter one centimeters cube so we will find out 50 grams of the acid will be what so it will be 50 times one centimeters cube 50 grams divided by one gram so gram gram we will have 50 centimeters cube in short when we have the volume given in, in grams it is as good as centimeters cube when the density is one when you are given the density so you should know that so now we have that 50 centimeters cube of hcl was used so we know the morality of the acid it is one therefore it means that one mole is the number of moles in a thousand centimeters cube what about 50 centimeters cube of hcl that was used 50 times 1 divided by a thousand this one is going to give us 0 0.05 remember this is the number of moles of the original hcl now we want to know the number of moles that reacted with the carbonate remember the remaining hcl that was in excess the number of moles is 0 0.03 why the ratio of sodium hydroxide and hcl is one to one so you should know this sodium hydroxide which reacted with excess hcl the ratio of the sodium chloride plus water the ratio is one to one meaning that the number of moles of sodium hydroxide will be equal to the number of moles of hcl we know the number of moles of sodium hydroxide is 0 0.03 it means that the number of moles of excess hcl is 0 0.03 now if this is the number of excess hcl and the initial the total of number of moles was 0 0.5 so now what will be the number of moles of hcl that reacted with x it aqua 0 0.05 subtract 0.03 therefore the moles that reacted with the cup of hcl that reacted with the x carbonate is 0.02 moles very important next question calculate the relative molecular mass of x carbonate uh, relative molecular mass rfm of x carbonate now we know that then the more ratio from the equation we have this equation the ratio of the x carbonate with hcl is one to two that's what i've written here but we know the number of moles of hcl was 0 0.02 so what will be the number of moles of the carbonate the carbonate will have a half of the number of moles therefore moles of x carbonate moles of x carbonate is a half times 0 0.02 and that one will give us 0 0.01 and that is the number of moles of the x carbonate remember the first triangle in in the topic moles more the concept more uh, we have the rfm we have moles mass how do you calculate rfm so rfm is equal to mass divided by moles which is equal to mass remember the mass of the carbonate was one gram one gram of the carbonate react was dissolved in its 50 centimeters cube therefore the mass is gram therefore one divided by the number of moles which is 0 0.01 uh, this one will give us a hundred therefore the rfm of the x carbonate is 100 hence give the relative atomic mass of x so we want to calculate the relative atomic mass of x given that carbon is equal to 12 oxygen is equal to 16 so x carbonate will give us the rfm which is 100 but x we don't know so x plus carbon which is 12 plus oxygen is 16 times 3 will give us a total of 100 so x plus 12 plus 48 will give us 100 x plus 60 is equal to 100 so it means that x will be 100 minus 60 it means that x is equal to 40 therefore the rfm or the relative atomic mass the ram of x is 40.